Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm just gonna be going through a few skincare items that I've really been loving for the past month. So a few of these I've tested out here and there with um, their sample or trial sizes. And this is the first month that I've actually been able to use all of these um, skincare products together and test them out and see how they work together. A lot of things just break out my skin, which is something that I really do not like dealing with. Like I'm paying all this money just to have something that's gonna break me out. But so far, um, I've only tested these out for a month together. I've tested these out separately and they've worked wonders separately, but together, I think I found a routine that I'm really, really enjoying. So like I said, I've tried these out for about a month all together because it, it definitely took a long time for me to get these products in the mail because of everything and um, because shipping and delivering was slowed down. So I was able to try these out starting maybe a little bit before last month. Before that, I was either using the trial sizes or I just wasn't using anything, which is terrible, I know. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna start with is my face wash. So I have been loving this Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I have tried out the trial size and I loved it in the trial size, so I wanted to get the full size. Um, and this is one of the face washes that has not broken me out at all. It's actually helped my skin a lot. So this is supposed to be for normal, normal to oily skin types and I definitely have oily skin. I would say I, I have combination skin. I get oily in my T-zone and on my eyelids and then the rest of my face gets kind of dry. Okay, so the bottle says that this is supposed to gently remove impurities without stripping skin of its essential moisture. And it's a deep cleansing face wash that helps to soothe and replenish skin without over drying. Definitely, it does not over dry. It definitely does what it says it's supposed to do. And what I use this with is this. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite face cleansing brush. I believe this is the Foreo Luna. They, they have a couple of them and I got this one specifically because I think this one is supposed to be for oily skin. So this is just what it looks like. And it's my absolute favorite thing ever. Like I've, I've wanted to have, I wanted to buy a facial um, cleansing brush before, but I didn't want something with all those long bristles. Um, I wanted something that was a little bit, that felt a little bit better to me. Um, so I bought this one and I got it at Macy's and I'm so happy that I got this. And so then I just use these two together when I'm washing my face and this is like a match made in heaven. So it has this button in the middle and then it has two buttons on the side. So it has this button in the middle for you to turn on and off. And then it has these two buttons on the side that helps you just um, adjust the vibration setting. So you can increase the vibration or you can decrease the vibration. So that's great. And then it has all of these little, um, I guess, bristles. They're like silicone bristles, I believe. Um, and then the back, it just has these ridges. And this is supposed to be for like your more sensitive section, so like under your eyes. Um, and then this is supposed to be for the rest of your face, which is great. I bought this specific color because I believe it's supposed to be for oily skin. I don't know what the difference is between like this one and the pink one. They might have a purple one. Um, but I bought this one just because it said oily skin. And I love this. So this by itself, it does a great job, but there is a difference between using face wash or soap or anything by itself and using it with something that really gets into your skin and into your pores and gets everything out. And I feel like these two together are just phenomenal. I just feel like using your hands to cleanse your face, it just really doesn't get in as deep as it should or as deep as you want it to. And then you still end up with some residue, especially if you're wearing makeup, like I'm wearing makeup now I'm gonna and I'm gonna use all of this stuff to take it off. Um, but I just feel like when you use your hands, you're really not getting in there and this definitely helps a lot. So. After I wash my face with those two guys, what I do is I grab this guy and I know it looks kind of crazy right now with the labeling but um, it's because some liquid something actually fell on this and it ruined the label but it's this Thayer's Witch Hazel and I know a lot of people love this and I know why. Like this thing, like this stuff is amazing if you haven't tried it go out and buy it you can get it at any target when i bought this i bought this specifically because i saw a lot of people on instagram talking about how much they love this and how it really helped improve their skin and i can definitely say this does an amazing 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 job in helping your skin out I've seen people's posts on Instagram where they post their before and after using this product for a few months and the difference is just amazing. People with terrible acne issues, they use this 
they use this consistently for a few months and the acne it just goes away their face clears up and i will definitely tell you i am one of those people that had terrible acne i had really really bad skin problems because of anxiety and stress and just a, a lot of different um factors that played into why my skin was breaking out so bad but my skin First of all, I barely get any breakouts anymore, and if I do get breakouts, it's hormonal, and it's something that just pops up um, when it's a certain time of the month, so it's not something that I can avoid. But every other type of breakout, completely avoidable. Um, and when I do end up getting those random little, little pimples or something because it's that time of the month, then it's just one random one here or there. Which is great because I used to have really, really, really bad breakouts, especially along my jawline and on my cheeks, and I really, really hated that. So what I just do is I take this, and I take one of these cotton pads, and I literally, and I'll just put some on the entire cotton pad. And I'll just put it on my face in an upwards motion just because I heard that um, you don't ever want to go down whether it's with this or if it's with some sort of lotion or your face wash or something. You don't ever want to go down because you don't want to pull on your face like that. You don't want to drag your skin down um, because I've heard that that helps. Um, that helps your skin age badly and it helps with drooping. So I like to go up. So I start just along my jawline because I, like I've said before, um, I've had major issues with breakouts along my jawline. So I just work my way up and around. I don't put it in my eyes. Do not put it near your eyes. <laughs> and then that's it. I just let it dry. I let my skin soak up the witch hazel. And then after that, after it's all completely dried, then I will go in with my face moisturizer. But before I get into the moisturizer that I use on my face, I just wanted to talk about this little guy. So this is just a tea tree oil. It's 100% pure essential oil. And this one specifically is from the brand Defeel. I don't know, I, I think I picked this up from Target too at the same time that I was picking up the witch hazel. And this is amazing for scars that you have left over from any sort of acne or any sort of breakout. Or if you do have like a random pimple, you take some of this and you put it on the breakout and then it would basically suck the life out of that breakout and then just completely shrink it. And um, it does it really, really fast. I will say like overnight. So what I do with this, because this is what it looks like when you open it up. So it's a tiny little hole. What I like to do is just take a little Q-tip and then just put some of the tea tree oil on one side of the Q-tip. And I make sure that the Q-tip is definitely drowned, I guess, in this tea tree oil. And then I just dab the breakout or the scar or whatever I have. If it's a breakout, I do it overnight. So at the end of the day, when I'm getting ready to go to bed, then I will, um, then I'll put this on the breakout. And then the next day, the breakout is barely even there. It's the tiniest little thing. And then I just do this whole process all over again. I don't put this all over my entire face just because I don't need to. And it's such a little thing. I don't want to waste it. Um, but the only downside to this is that it does not smell good at all. I hate the smell of it but I love what it does to your skin so that's why I continue to use it and I think you should too if you have um, if you have scars or any breakouts that you want to get rid of so the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the moisturizer that I've been using on my face so it's this drunk elephant so it's this drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream and I know a lot of people have been so obsessed with drunk elephant I've been wanting to try out their products for so long so i ended up getting a trial size of this and i loved it i feel like i've tried the tatcha um water cream i think it's called because everybody said that they loved it but i just didn't see a difference in my skin um so i wanted to try something new and i decided to try this i got the trial size and i tried it out with their jelly cleanser and together it's just amazing it works wonders but I've been using this with my Kiehl's face wash and it's great too. So like I said, my skin is combination oily skin and I don't want something that's going to clog up my pores and I feel like this doesn't clog up my pores at all. Um, the only thing that I notice with this is that sometimes if I put too much, then my skin will get overly oily, which is terrible. So I had to kind of just limit the amount that I'm putting on my face and it doesn't get oily. It definitely does the job. 
so this is what it looks like it's not like something that you stick your hands into it's actually more hygienic um so all you do is just press this down and then let me see if i can come out with a little bit you just press this down and then the product comes out and this is literally the amount that i use because more than this a full pump is just going to be too much for your face well my face personally a full pump will make my face just a freaking oil slick so i use half a pump and it's perfect it's the perfect amount and i know this is expensive but i just i just believe in using products that's really going to be good for your skin and your skin alone don't go buy something just because it's um it's a trendy item or because it's being really hyped up get something that's really going to work for your skin so i definitely recommend getting trial size products especially of any of these if you're interested in trying any of this stuff out especially this guy because it's more on the pricier side so this breakthrough protein moisturizer combines combines an unprecedented array of concentration of signal peptides growth factors supportive amino acids and pygmy water lily for visible and immediate improvement in the improvement in the appearance of skin's tone texture and firmness so i think it's been doing a great job it hasn't clogged up my pores like i said it hasn't broken me out which a lot of um other face moisturizers have and i hate right before i got the full size of this i ran out of the trial size and i had to use i think i have like an aveeno face moisturizer and that stuff broke me the hell out like my whole jawline was full of pimples and full of breakouts and i just hated that and i knew it was the stuff that i was using so i'm so glad that i got this and i'm so glad that i got the face wash so the next thing i've spoken about this on my channel before several times um but it is this aztec secret indian healing clay like this stuff is so great i cannot speak about it enough so if you like glam glow then you're probably going to really like this. It's been compared to Glam Glow quite a few times. Um, it's just a lot cheaper and it's pre, it's not pre-made already or it's not pre-mixed. So it is a powder and you have to mix it yourself and you can mix it with water or apple cider vinegar. And I actually have a video where I put it on myself. So if you want to see how this turns out when you mix it, then just watch my video. I'll link it up here um but it's supposed to be the world's most powerful facial it's deep pore cleansing and 100 percent natural calcium bentonite clay this is very powerful you put it on and if you have lighter skin that turns red like i do then you will definitely see your skin turning pink once you wash it off but that's just because it's been sucking everything out of your skin which is amazing and after a few minutes the the redness goes away and it's perfectly fine your skin just ends up being very 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 smooth so the last thing that I'm gonna be talking about is something that many 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 other people have talked about before when it comes to skincare and just hydrating your skin and your face and it's something so simple you're probably gonna laugh but it's water drink a lot a lot a lot of water I try to drink at least two of these a day um, just because they're pretty big and I like the alkaline water with electrolytes from Trader Joe's or the essential water If not, then I just take my water from my Brita and Just try to drink enough of it a day as you possibly can Just because your body is made up of water and it needs water in, in order to be just nice and plump and hydrated and look good So drink a lot of water and if you don't do that no matter what products that you use no matter what products that you use, your skin's just gonna be lacking something. And if you drink enough water in a day, then your skin's gonna look so well. I mean, there's people that I've seen online that have only drank a lot of water and their skin has looked phenomenal. So let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear about the products that you guys use. And if any of you use any of the products that I mentioned in this video, then please let me know. Let me know how you like it. I would love to hear any sort of feedback. So yeah, if you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.